Well, it's time now to look forward to one of the big boxing events this weekend, and it involves Donegal's Brett McGinty. Uh, Brett, as always, good to see you. Good to talk to you. Good to see you, Oshin. How's things? I'm not too bad, Brett. How, how are you in the build-up to Saturday's fight? It's a busy week for you. Uh, not too bad. Um, we're getting there now. Um, all the hard work's done, so just a matter of taking care of the weight this week um, and just uh, making sure I'm fit and ready to go for Saturday night. Yeah. Have you come around to this thing of making weight yet? Because I know speaking to you previously, it's the one thing you don't like about boxing. I don't think I ever will, actually, to be honest, but um, I'm well used to it now at this stage, eh? so just um, take the days as they come this week, get through them, keep myself in the best shape, and all preparation for Saturday night. Yeah. Uh, if we go back to May, uh, you took victory in your last outing. Uh, that brought you to to five and zero in your professional career. Uh, you've had a bit of a long wait, Brett, to get back into the ring again. I am going to be, to be honest, Ashin. It's been uh, it's been a bit frustrating. Um, I'd, I'd expected to have a fight between now and May, if not two, to be honest. Um, but as boxing for you, especially pro boxing, it doesn't always go to plan. But I mean, I think the silver lining and all that is that I'm. I'm going to be fighting at home. I'm going to be fighting in Dublin in the National Stadium, which is a as a familiar venue. You know, I mean, I boxed there probably 30 times as an amateur, and uh, but plenty of success there as well. So it's been frustrating time, as you say. You know, it's I fought at the end of May and haven't fought since. But you know, the silver lining and all that is that I'm fighting at home. I've got a right crowd going down to watch me as well. So really looking forward to it, and really looking forward to um end the year and a half. Yeah, because it's been a while since you've been at home. 2019 was the last time that, that you fight you fought at home. So for you now in your professional career, you would have wanted to do this a wee bit earlier, Brett, but the, but this personally, this is a big thing for you. I like it's always something I I'd hoped for and you know want wanted wanted to come my way. But uh the thing about professional boxing, like especially in, in Ireland, like it, it's the opportunities are few and far between. Um I think I seen something up there during the week that it'll be. It's been three years and eight months since since a professional uh, show has been in Dublin. So hopefully this is the start of many more in the future. I mean, there's talk about maybe Katie Taylor coming home to fight in Crow Park uh, early next year as well. So hopefully that's the start um, um, of more opportunities for pro boxers in Ireland. Like I mean, I've had I've had five pro fights. They've been all in England, and you know I loved every one of them. But I mean, it's something different fighting at home. I'll have a couple of hundred going down the road. They watch me as well the weekend, family and friends and stuff like that there. So, you know, it's really exciting and I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, you want to put on a show for them too, don't you? Of course. Um, they're, they'll they be coming down, making plenty of noise. So, it's up to me to, to make sure they get their money's worth for their tickets and their buses and, and one thing and another. So, I know I'm, I'm, you know, I'm the best shape possible to put, to put on a, a performance for them and, I'm definitely fan to do that. Yeah. Uh, Alessandro Ruggiero of Italy, I think we pronounced it right, uh, Brett, but he's your opponent. What do you know of him, or, or have you been very much focused on on how Brett McGinty is going to tackle this fight? Uh, it's more so focused on myself, watching as it usually is. Um, to be honest, it's a, he's a bit of an unknown. We don't really know much about him. Uh, there's not much footage of him on that on the internet. I think a lot of his fights are in Italy, so you know, I don't really know any of any of his opponents or that, but I know he's done. He's been six rounds and he's been eight rounds, so he should be a, a tough enough. You know, he'll be a tough enough game opponent. Um, I'm sure he'll come to fight. But as I said, the you know, I've 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 prepared really well. The camp it's been a long eight weeks in England. Um, everything's went to plan. I'm feeling, I'm feeling as fit and sharp as I've ever felt. So. Everything, everything on my end is good to go, and I'll I'll be ready for whatever he brings on Saturday. Yeah, this is the first time too. You're going to tackle six rounds, is it, Brett? Well, it's the first time since my debut. Um, I'm six rounds in my debut, and then I had four fours. Um, but I mean, I, I feel like I'm absolutely ready for six rounds. I have been. I was actually hoping to do six in my last fight, but I never, I never, um, I never went to plan. But no, no, I'm ready now. You know, back up to six rounds, and then hopefully push towards maybe eight rounds in the early in the new year, maybe a Celtic title fight, something like that there. I'm ready to keep going now, and, and um, I'm looking forward to, to what the future holds. Yeah. Uh, were you uh, at the venue for, for Ricky Hatton's fight last week? Obviously, Ricky's your, your, your trainer. Did you get a ringside seat, did you, Brett, or what happened last weekend? 
Uh, we were all in the arena. Everybody from the gym was uh, was down to watch Ricky. Uh, actually, the boy, the one of the lads I love with, Brad, was fighting for the English title too in the same bowl. Unfortunately, he lost, but I mean, he'll come again. So it was a big night for the gym. We had, we had Brad on for the English title, and then we had Ricky, obviously, for his big comeback fight. So it was a great night on Saturday night in Manchester. Um, great event all together. Um, I'm sure a lot of people have seen the amount of weight and the shape that Ricky's got himself in. Um, I have to say you now he's an absolute in- inspiration, especially to those you know with, with mental health and battling mental health. And that he's he's had his own struggles, but to see what he's he's come through and you know the condition he's got himself in, he's 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 definitely an inspiration now. And, I'm very lucky that I'll be coming to Dublin um, at the weekend to, uh, to do my corner. Yeah, and uh, obviously you sparred with him as well, so you did over, uh, uh, over on his build-up. Actually, what was that uh, like on the same ring? Obviously, you've been in the ring with him uh, as a trainer, and he's calling the shots and giving the instructions, but what was it like to go glove-to-glove glove with him? Uh, well, uh, it was uh, it was a lot surreal now the first time, but the fight was initially meant to happen on the 2nd of July. Um, but it was postponed because uh, there was an injury. And I remember sparring Ricky for that. And I thought, ah, he's sharp enough or whatever. But the actual postponement worked in his favour, to be honest. He, uh, like, the second time around, I sparred him a couple of times there in the last couple of months. And he's, he was definitely sharper. And I think that reflected on the performance of Saturday night. Like, at the end of the day, Barrera and Ricky are both well past their best but I mean I think they still put on a very entertaining fight like I think a lot of people the feedback from it was very good some people will be a bit skeptical to see older fighters coming back even albeit an exhibition but I, I mean I think it was a it was all for the right causes you know what I mean and it was it actually ended up being a very entertaining fight so I think it was it was just a good all-round event. Yeah. Anyway, back to uh, to Brett McGinty. Uh, so what happens now? And we're talking here on the Tuesday before the fight. This will this will go to air on the Thursday. What happens now over the next couple of days as you as you ease your way into Saturday, Brett? Ah, uh, well, it's just it's just a matter of taking care of my weight, Dashing. Um, as I said, all all the hard work's done. So there'll be no hard or heavy sessions. Just a few a few sessions to keep the weight on check. Um. Literally counting down the hours, to be honest. Um, head to Dublin on Friday for the way and a half to take it easy Friday night and then we're getting ready to fight then Saturday. Looking forward to it and looking forward to putting on a good show for everybody coming down to watch me. Yeah, you're confident? Uh, absolutely. As I said, like it's been a very good camp. Um, everything's went to plan. Um, everything on my end has been taken care of. I'm, I'm in the best shape possible to put on a good performance. So it's it's up to me to do that now and to, to, to do that for the traveling sport coming down. Yeah, just finally then, uh, Brett, looking ahead to 2023, as we mentioned, you had two fights this year. You wanted a, a, a lot more. Uh, are we going to see more of, of Brett McGinty next year in the following 12 months? I would like to hope so, Ashin. Um, definitely. Like, I, I was a it was a slow start of the year because of injury, but then we finally got going. It's been a bit stop start, but I mean, I want to push on now. There's actually a Celtic title fight at my weight this weekend in Belfast. I mean, I would be happy to fight the winner of that early next year if, if that fight came about. Um, but regardless, like I want to, I want to be as active as possible. I want to push on. This is six rounds now. We need to move. That'll be an eight rounder for the Celtic title if, if that that comes about so definitely the next 12 months um, I want to look at, at domestic titles and I want to push on and I want to start um, getting my name out there Okay, listen Brett we look forward to what the next 12 months uh, are going to bring for you and we look forward to, to Saturday night as well, we wish you all the best of luck in your next professional fight Brett, thanks for joining us Thanks Oshin